So it's the 1st of November, start of a new vlog, and I'm in my new favourite place to be, which is Tequila Mockingbird in Covent Garden. So it's happy hour, so we've just got the one star margaritas in. Martinis. One star martinis. Yeah. One star martini. I should know that, goodness me. Um, Freddie and I are on our way to the theatre to see Sunset Boulevard in the Cold Jersey. Oh, Cheers, Freddie. Have you had one of these before? Of course I have. This is my favourite. Well, it's not my absolute favourite. I prefer a margarita, but this is... It's two for one and she knows there's no way I'm going near a margarita. <laughs> so we're at Ave Maria oh, in Covent Garden. We're in the basement. They put us down in the basement. So they need to get a move on because our show starts in an hour. Oh, my God. It's not boring! And well, you can't see what this is, but what's mine got on it? Truffle, red cabbage, walnuts, gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. That's the main attraction. Yeah. She is the greatest star. I mean, she really is. When you were watching it, you were thinking, yeah, actually, she is the greatest star on earth. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just blown away. It was just, I've never seen anything really that, like a musical that powerful. No, I it haven't. Really I mean, there, me were lots I of, there were lots of things in it that I didn't like. Yeah, me too. I didn't like the whole stripped back, nothing on the stage. The costumes were just the appalling. They made me feel awful. sick. <laughs> Um, the but, set, with all well, the black like there, there was no set. Um, yeah. But on the performance, yeah, it was the best of ever seen. Actually, yeah, yeah it was. She's the greatest star of all. <laughs> you have to say it properly, Freddie. What is she? She's the greatest star of all. So it's the 14th or 15th of November now, and I haven't done any vlogging this month, um, apart from our theatre trip. Um, the reason is I've been very busy and busy, what was that? Half my family live in Kent, half live in Yorkshire and I wanted to take everyone who lives in Yorkshire, I wanted to take the Christmas presents. So I had to buy the Christmas presents and so I thought I'll get all the Yorkshire presents out of the way and take them up there. So that's what I've been doing, I've just been Christmas shopping, in fact I've hurt my wrist, I think I've got strain injury with all the bags. Um, in fact, don't get excited if you're waiting for your present in Yorkshire, <laughs> I made that sound better than it was. Um, so I did go to Yorkshire, I did take my camera and I did forget to film. I went to the theatre again to see Company, um, a Stephen Sondheim musical which I have to say is in my top 10 list of naff musicals. I hate it. But that's just my opinion. I'll give you my book and film recommendation. Oh, I can't show you the book because it's on my Kindle. It's called, I think it's called The Cuckoo's Nest and it's by Robert Galbraith, I think. It's actually J.K. Rowling and it's really good. Freddie recommended it and um, it's about a detective called Strike and I really love it. I can't wait to read the rest. Um, TV, I haven't been to the cinema, but TV, oh, I've just loved watching the Robbie Williams documentary because I'm just, I've always loved Robbie Williams. In fact, I always used to say to the kids that one day that is going to be your stepdad. Um, but he's very happily married. And so am I, so... He probably isn't really, but maybe one day, you never know. What else have I been doing, Bobo? Oh, I've just heard a thud 
on the floor downstairs. I think that's my Bloom and Wild flower delivery. So maybe I shall show you that. So look, they come through the door like this. Okay, so this is how they come. Right. Oh, who is that handsome boy? I'm going to have to bend down a bit. Um, so I've got my water with the plant food in. I've got my helper. Love you, Bob. So I will just um, arrange my flowers. But there's no point, is there, if you can't see? Move. I'll cut your tail off. Look, now he's sat in the box. <laughs> Let me show you. Bobo, this is not helpful. Bobo, you're not helping me. I know you've got a beautiful foot. It's so big. What if it's poisonous? The trouble with bloom and wildflowers is I love them, but the only problem, well, it's not a problem, I'll explain. When they arrive, they look, actually, these aren't too bad, but they often look dead. And if you look at what it says here, I don't know if you can read it, it says, shh, your flowers are sleeping. And you have to wake them up. Should we sing to them? No, so they're, they're basically asleep. These don't look too bad. Sometimes they look really dead, but after a couple of days, they really perk up and bloom. And that's why I love them because they last so much longer. You're watching TV. Is it a good program, Bobos? God, I have to just say, on my last video, I asked for some ideas and someone said, could I do uh, what I eat in a day? So I thought, oh, that'll be easy. So I started writing down what I ate in a day to do a video and then I stopped because it was too embarrassing. Well, first of all, I thought, why would anybody want to know what someone eats in a day? But after writing this down, I want to know what everybody eats in a day because I was quite ashamed of myself. I always thought I was really healthy. So for example, one day for breakfast, I had a Freddo and a Curly Whirly. And then I had a crisp sandwich, um, an apple, some prawn crackers, three vegetarian scotch eggs, two chocolate brioche, that was all snacks, oh two satsumas, did I say that? Um, then for my evening meal I ate fish pie and broccoli which was healthy followed by satsuma, another satsuma and some crunchy nut granola. <laughs> what an odd thing to eat in a day. Then the next day I had, for breakfast I had a smoothie and some seeded bread and marmite. So obviously I thought that was very healthy. So then I went on to eat um, two macarons, some sweets, um, a packet of frutella, a bagel with cheese mayo, salad and crisps, a lolly, a chocolate bar, a banana, um, then more sweets, two pieces of stollen and two cookies. And it just went on like this, all this crap that I'm eating. Um, and I actually said to Freddie, I'm amazed at my sugar intake, how I've even got any teeth left. And I've always prided myself with my teeth. I'm not going to show you now because I've just been eating some peanuts. I've always had perfect teeth. And I was saying to Freddie, I, um, I can't believe I've even got any teeth. The very next day, 
I felt something in my mouth and my tooth, well it felt like it had crumbled away. Actually it wasn't, it was just a filling but it was such a shock. I phoned the dentist, I was like I need an emergency appointment right now. They said tomorrow, I was like tomorrow I need it now. I, I half expected them to send an ambulance for me, I was in such a state. But it is just a filling but it's really made me um, think about what I eat. So I might, I'm going to try and eat a bit healthier and then I'll do what I eat in a day because at the moment it's just too embarrassing. It's a dark, wet, miserable November morning and I'm at the Actors Church in Covent Garden. Um, I'm just waiting for my friend Lorraine and um, we're at West End Woofs. So it's a charity fundraiser thing and it's hosted by Elaine Page and Bernadette Peters so I'm very excited to see Bernadette Peters. Oh god I'd never want to put it down. Organisation? Don't know I'm just a snuggler. Oh. And she just got to our first woof. <laughs> conversation with Bernadette and she said why don't we get all the shelters in the UK um, and, and try and organize for the cats and the dogs in the UK to be rehoused to find a permanent and loving home and obviously I know that uh, this all stems from the charity that you set up some years ago um, in New York oh, I'm calling it Broadway Box <laughs> with um, a few dogs that uh, are needing housed as well. So if anyone would like to look at that book, it's a lovely blue book, you can have a look. Um, this dog here is Dax. Now Dax is so well behaved, he's been so good. <laughs> and I'm wormed. <laughs> and I'm about to be speeded. <laughs> uh, now, Home Run Hugs just celebrated its first anniversary. It was started to try and find forever homes for those beautiful greyhound dogs once their racing careers came to an end. They are the sweetest, most loving dogs uh, from uh, through... Uh, no, hang on, dog, yes, they're, they're, they're the sweetest and most lovely living dogs. No, they're dogs. <laughs> uh, through home run hounds, you can foster one of these beautiful babies for up to two weeks. That's a nice idea, is it? Foster it for two weeks, see if you like it. See if they like your home. <laughs> Which I'm sure, looking around, they all will love your home. Cats, uh, as well as the dogs, need to find a, a forever permanent loving home. Yes. So, so look you, at this. here you talk about <laughs> a shelter that does exactly that. Oh. Please welcome back quietly 
my wonderful co-stars from Old Friends, Jamie D. and Leia Salando. The Peterborough Cat Rescue is a self-financed group run by volunteers in the Peterborough area that tries to rehome stray and unwanted cats. We're all in the room where it happens. Let's make it happen. Oh my God. Hi guys. Oh, that's loud. Okay. Hi guys. Uh, this is Rio. I'm where you want to be, down there with him. Um, he's an English Bulldog, he's two years old. Um, he came to us as a young pup. And we want to thank all the wonderful people. Well, we absolutely thank possible. you mostly for coming. I mean, for, yeah. for coming and supporting this very worthy cause. Yeah. And hopefully some of you will go away and ponder this big deal. And um, maybe they'll find a new member of their family. But thank you thank everyone you so much. for coming. upstairs, it's really cool, there's some great things in here. So look at the Christmas tree. And you can't see it, can you? We've just had our meal. I was a bit disappointed actually. Um, <laughs> we're not going back. We won't go back. So, but so I hope I'm, I'm still going to light the cocktail bar, which I'm sure I will, because I've been there twice as well. Or three times. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in there. I'm filming us. It's all right. You can tell. So this, so this is this is me. Are you? Uh, where's yours? Martini's down and we're just going off to find a quieter venue because it was too noisy. I just thought I'd show you the Regent Street lights in case you haven't seen them. I'm sure you have because they're the exact same ones that have been up here for about the last five years. Which I suppose they were expensive and they want to get their money's worth out of them. But oh, look at all these noisy motorbikes. How annoying. I'll show you. So I'm having a very exciting evening. Well, not yet, but I'm about to have a very exciting evening. I'm at the Wonka premiere. Charlie and the Chocolate Coach is one of my all-time favourites. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> Oh, it's him! It's, 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 it's
Stompton. It's Carlton. Oh, it's Sir Olivia Carlton, isn't it? Yeah. about the film apparently till the 4th of December but yeah and then after the film um, there was an after party and um, it was at the Royal Festival Hall and Phil and I both said it was the best party we'd ever been to it was amazing um, just the Willy Wonka cocktails and the sweets everywhere and clouds of candy floss oh it was just the best I had such a good time but i woke up in the night with a banging head and it's still there now happy birthday to me happy birthday to me happy birthday to me happy birthday to me Hooray! it's my birthday today i'm very excited i don't know why i'm so excited um i'm having such a nice day and i haven't done anything that's probably why i am having such a nice day um i haven't opened any presents uh because coco gets up oh hang on here's my helper thank you so coco gets up so early for school i didn't want to open make her sit there while i open my presents so we're going to do that later aren't we bobo uh, so I've opened nothing apart from one thing from Phil which I'm so excited about and you'll probably think I'm mad because all my family think I'm mad when, I, when they phoned me this morning to say happy birthday and I told them what we were doing they were like what? We're going on a London Underground tour at 4.30 and I'm really excited so we get to go down into the disused tunnels I think but I shall let you know 21 today 21 today I got the key of the door never been 21 before actually I have I've probably been 21 I have I've been tw 21 longer than I haven't been 21 
you know what I mean. My colour scheme, gold and black. Oh, look, I've got this cup and saucer actually. Well, I did have until Bobo smashed it the other day, jumping on the windowsill. What's that? Bench is about to begin. Never heard of this. I think we've got to come here to have this. Happy birthday! 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 Happy bir
Happy birthday. Oh, I can't get you. You're lucky. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Josie. Happy birthday to you. We all did a harmony. There was no tune. What should you use, Entire 21 years. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is spectacular. Thank, thank you, darling. One, one of my presents. Look at all the presents. I know. Have you ever seen a grown up? Oh, look, camera. <laughs> a grown up. Have you ever seen a grown up? With that many presents. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Happy birthday, mummy. This is oh. oh. Hard. It's like rock. <laughs> yes, it's so cool. Oh Yay, my god. Yummy. So I hope you enjoyed my November vlog. I seem to be drinking quite a lot in it, didn't I? What with drinking and eating sweets. <laughs> anyway, I shall see you next month. Bye.